Come, Nerevar, friend or traitor, come. Come and look upon, I'm sorry, who are you? You don't look like an Imperial, or a Breton, or Nord, or you aren't a Mur either. I suppose you must be Dagoth Ur. You'll have to forgive my tardiness. Your brother Dagoth Endus gave me a quite cheery welcome. And naturally, that resulted in a late start. My compliments. The members of your house are very polite, I must say. Yes, well, we are a noble house, not some commoners off the street. Of course we are polite. That, however, was distinctly ill-mannered. I think solitude has not been kind to you. Have you considered leaving this cave? Perhaps ending your imposed isolation? Nerevar, you must be joking. Leave the heart of Lorcan, the very source of my power. The only thing that keeps the Tribunal from sinking Morrowind even further? True, the heart of Lorcan is the thing that enables you to work your will upon Morrowind. But what is an endless wellspring of power if you must chain yourself to it? What good does it do you if you never feel the sun on your skin, the grass beneath your feet, the scent of the tea just before you drink it? Do you even remember these things, De Gothur? I can feel those things later once I have cast down the Tribunal, once I have snatched victory from the jaws of defeat, I can rest once I have won. But you will never have fully won. That is the destructive nature of such ideals. You will defeat the Tribunal, yes. But then you will think of the Empire. You will say to yourself, I can rest once I have cast down the Emperor. Then it will be Skyrim, or Black Marsh, or elsewhere, don't you see? This path you walk has no end. This glass you fill has no bottom. The only reward will be pain and loss. I have committed myself to this course. There can be no turning from it now. My friend, there is always time to turn back. Sometimes the way out is less difficult to see when one has help.